Hello everybody, my name is Taurus Love and today we have Nathan Owens uh, with Major Models. Okay, Nathan, I want you to tell everybody how you get into modeling. Um, you know, it's a funny story. Actually, I was I was working in sales at Horizon Wireless, and uh, my I was trying to climb the corporate ladder. You know, things were sixty hours a week, basically. You know, you working that. in the corporate office. The corporate office, man. Yeah, sixty hours a week. Nothing. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Anywho, so. Feeling like, uh, you know, I wasn't really liking it. I didn't really like how things were and how they were run. Uh, my sister approached me and told me to send some pictures into uh, Ford models. And at the time, I had no clue what that was. I had, you know, I had basketball background, grew up playing ball in college, whatever, whatever. And that was it. I had no idea. And um, sure enough, we took some pictures on, the, on my Apple and sent them in. They called me about a week later. Just some regular pictures? Just regular, straight-up photo booth, uh, bed in the background, oh my posters gosh. on the wall, all, yeah, and then okay. sent them in. They, uh, thank God that they responded back to me and told me to come in and meet with them. And about 10 days later, it was on from there. So. Okay, so how'd you get with Major? Uh, oh, after probably about a year and a half with Ford, that I split from them and went with whole new agencies. I went with Wilhelmina in LA, Wilhelmina in Miami, and I couldn't decide on who I wanted to go with in New York. And um, my buddy had said, hey, you know, you should check out this major uh, agency called Major. They, they, you know, they represent a lot of athletic build kind of guys, you know. And I was like, well, you know what? My agency's pushing me to Wilhelmina, and I know they're good, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I threw some pictures of them, and they responded back to me and said, yeah, sure, we'll take you on. Okay. And I was like, cool. That's cool. <laughs> so it's been good. It's been good since then. Okay. So just tell the people really quick, you know, how about the shoot today, how things went. Okay. Uh, well, today we knocked out a lot of what I needed for my portfolio, and um, it was wonderful. I finally got to show personality and some photos, which is a good thing because that kind of gets stripped away sometimes. Um, uh, we we kind of came at it with a different angle. I like the, the head the head wrap at night. It, it was cool. It was almost like a, I don't know, I felt like some sort of a king, you know? Okay. <laughs> so, got that, got some beautiful headshots, got to throw some smiles in there, which is another thing I don't ever get to do, so. Yeah, he got a, he got one of them old lady smiles, you know, like the old ladies like. Yeah, like so, if you a little kid, look, you got the dimples all in there and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes, yeah, it makes I you I want some sick. dimples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, it was all in all a good shoot. It was great. Okay. So, I mean, something you want to ask me um, before we leave? You know what? Actually, I wanted to ask you, okay, so what's your approach on lighting? Because I know that people come in all different shapes, sizes, looks, everything. What's your approach when it comes to to lighting? I know it's kind of, I don't know if you've heard, you know, had this question before, but what's your approach to lighting um, a model or whatnot? Mm. How do you first find out what you think is the right approach? For well... You? The right approach is a socket that works. <laughs> I'm sure that's that's key. And aim it right. I don't know. I just when I was in college, I really wanted to learn how to light for real. Mm -hmm. But you know, the teachers were like, oh well, you have to wait till you get to lighting class. And I just didn't have that kind of patience. So what I did was just played with the light and mm -hmm. tried different things and. And just kept messing up mm -hmm. over and over until the just stuff I do works, you know. And then I just go, okay, middle note, that works. Mm -hmm. Middle note, that works. Oh, hell no, don't do that again. That, like, doesn't work. So I'm just, I, like, I just look at it. So, Omar, like, did you have to go through a lot of error? So you're saying, like, you pretty much had to mess up a few times before you actually figure it out, okay. It's like uh, babies... Choose, a few pictures have to be a little bit tore up before yes. you realize that. It's like babies in walking. Okay. They keep falling, but they just keep up, keep mm -hmm. getting up, trying again until they get it. And then they just go... It seemed like they go from crawling to running. And that's kind of how it was with me. I went from crawling with the clamp light... Old school? Yes, yeah. like that. <laughs> to real lights, you know, yeah. so that's, I just, I feel like any photographer, if you want to learn how to light, 
Yeah. Just practice and try different things. Don't be. I mean, what's gonna happen? Yeah, and a lot comes of it. That's why I say. And you get your really own nice technique with it too. Right. It's yours. It's not somebody else's that you're biting. Right. Exactly. So. Well, good to hear. Thanks for having me. I well, appreciate it. Thanks for coming. <laughs> so I'm Taurus Love, and this is Nathan Owens. All right. I'll let you people. See you later.